Hey, what's up? Welcome to back to Merch University. I'm Joe here. Uh, today, I want to talk about um, some of my uh, best-selling shirts and the designs and um, what they look like, and just uh, kind of talk more about the layout because I think a lot of people, when they start merch, are you know even if you're um, you know you're a very beginner, it's I remember um, wondering how can I make my shirts, and I you know I didn't know how to how do you, you know, how do you really know how to go about it besides just putting words on a shirt, you know, um, which that can sell because, you know, I've seen it done time and time again. But um, I was looking over my best selling shirt for this year, and I just want to kind of show you um, a similar layout to it. And so, um, and this is actually a great, <coughs> sorry, this is a great place um, to go for layouts. Uh, and and for inspiration and so um, it's a uh, creative market um, dot com and all you have to do is look up uh, logo templates that's all I do and so that's what I, I looked up today and I found this one right here and um, this is one I've, I've come across before and uh, right here this is what um, kind of like this design is like my uh best-selling shirt it's really simple it has a it has a logo right here has like a you know a little mountain right here and then it has words right here and that is it it's that simple all i have is a graphic on top and some words on the bottom and that's all it's uh nothing complicated i mean really simple it's all you know all i did was place a graphic there and that was it that was done you know um, just like uh, this one right here this camping one you know put a tent right here and then you put some words underneath it and that's all maybe you put some different fonts like they did um, right here and here's an, another example with this lumberjack one um, you know get you a graphic right here and then put some words underneath or even here at this bottom one it's kind of like the same one you know you put a you know, a mountain right here or, you know, whatever the graphic may be, you know, whether you're doing uh, camping or you're doing baseball or softball or whatever the niche may be, as long as you put it there and then you, you kind of, you know, keep them together, put them together. Um, I think that's what makes for me, that's been kind of um, my style of um for creating uh, you know good sellers that sell um over time and so um i always try to find inspiration by um looking at these uh, different logo patterns and um how they operated how they operate and so um if you're looking for inspiration and you don't know what to do i would suggest coming on to creative market uh and just looking through their logos here what we will look through these logos right here and i will um, you know, show you what they have here. You know, you can actually buy these and then just change out all the words, you know, if that's what you want to do. You could change out, you know, all the graphics, um, however you want to do, you know. Um, it, you just play with the words, maybe put this graphic here, and you see these, um, these like swirly things. They added those. That wasn't on there. They added those on the sides, and they put, you know, a year on top, and then they put their um, main... Um, I would I would say that's 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 one of the key things is um, put your main word for your shirt like right here in the middle like all this like Forrester and um, Anis and Anis <laughs> uh, Blackwell um, Houston you know whatever that may be put your main word whether it be camping whether it be you know baseball or um, you know dad you know because Father's Day is coming up. Um, so all all of these um, graphics right here um, are great ideas for you to use when you're coming up with these designs because um, I would say as long as you add I would say just add a graphic to the top you know put your um, what you want on the bottom and then you know make it simple maybe add little little um, lines to the side or little feathers or little you know leaves or um, you know, little dashes, you know, really simple. Um, even this one is really simple. This great white, you know, has a has a shark here and then it has the words underneath. Even if you use a banner, sometimes banners will look great under uh, graphics. And so I would say that is a plus. So um, let me see here. Let's go through here and um, see some other ones. 
we can look up. So pretty much just go, you can go in anywhere. You can buy these. They're, they're, they're not a lot of money. Um, or you can just use them for inspiration and go back in um, whatever program you use, um, whether you use Make Merch or Merch Informer, um, you know, find, find the templates that they have and, you know, go, go make some designs, you know, here's some um, great ones for outdoors, you know, let's check these out. I don't know if they come up. So um, I would say that style is my go-to style. Is if I'm if I'm not having a designer make it, which I rarely do, I when I make it myself, I will um, I will put a logo on top, um, and then I will put you know words right here in the middle and words on the bottom. That's pretty much my go-to. Um, and as you can see right here. You know, all of these are really simple, simple to do, simple to simple to make. Um, they look great on shirts. Um, I've been getting uh, great feedback from all my all of my designs. Actually, actually on my phone, um, I made uh, my best selling shirt, and I made it on the Vintage um, logo um, app. So our vintage design app. So if you have that app, I mean, they have pre-made, pre they already have pre-made logos and you just change the words out. It's really, you just click on it and then you just change the words out and then, um, you know, you can upload those. So that's some things that I've done to uh, make designs better because I know layout is a really crucial part to the design. So um, I just wanted to share that with you guys in case you were wondering um, how can I make better shirts with better logos and, um, you know, just overall have a, a better shirt for a better chance of it selling. I mean, it doesn't work all the time, but I mean, that's what has worked for me. So thank you guys for checking out this video and I will talk to you guys later.